Gallaudet University, the world's most prestigious institution for deaf and hard of hearing students, did something pretty remarkable over the weekend. It owned its role in a racial and educational injustice and made things right. Today, we seek sunshine on the campus of Gallaudet, where 23 black deaf students finally received their high school diplomas after a segregated past denied them what they so rightly deserve. Our Aiki Jachi was there. Kenneth Miller. Inside this auditorium, you'll find something familiar. Caps, gowns, friends and family. It's graduation day. For Kenneth Miller, it's a day he says was once unrecognizable. This has really been just the only thing on my mind as of lately. It feels incredibly exciting. Today is a celebration honoring black deaf children who have been oppressed in their educational experiences. So we are taking an injustice and turning it into justice. After decades of waiting, Miller and 23 others, some represented by surviving family members, are finally getting their high school diplomas for attending the Kendall School Division II for Negroes, a segregated private elementary school for black deaf students. This long-awaited graduation coming to life because of Kenneth's mother, Louise B. Miller, the hearing mother of four children, three of whom were deaf. Prior to the 1950s, her children were educated in Maryland because the racially segregated Kendall School close to her home on what is now Gallaudet University refused to educate her children. In 1952, she and the parents of five other black deaf children filed and won a class action lawsuit against the District of Columbia. Because of the class um, of 1952 and winning that lawsuit, Thurgood Marshall was able to look at the legal precedent that they had set and to see what they had done in terms of their process. And then that led to Brown versus Board of Education. The 24 students went on to graduate, never receiving an official diploma. The moment finally coming to life as Kenneth and the families of 23 other students finally got the chance to walk across the stage. <laughs> Joining us now, someone who knows what segregation feels like, but it didn't stop her from being the change in this world. Dr. Carolyn McCaskill not only received the Deaf Humanitarian Award for her contributions to deaf civil rights, but she now leads Gallaudet's Legacy Making Deaf Black Studies program. Carolyn was there on the stage for this special graduation, shaking every single hand as graduates received that long overdue diploma. Carolyn, it is so great to have you here today. Hi, greetings. Um, it's so nice to see you, and thank you so much for inviting me to come on the show. Let's just talk about what it felt like to be up on that graduation stage. I know your heart was so full. Yeah, it really was. Um, it was a surreal moment. It truly felt like it was a dream come true. There was so much joy that filled the room, um, so much happiness that this was actually taking place. And I can say that this was something that was very, very well overdue. It was a long time coming, and I'm just so happy. You know, at, at uh, various moments, I became very emotional seeing families of former students and just watching how they felt after 71 years to finally receive a diploma. 71 years is such a long time. And that's a feeling that's so difficult to put into words, um, especially when you're seeing them walk across the stage and um, <laughs> you know, flip the tassel on the mortarboard. So I was just so finally happy to see everything taking place. And let's just talk about that, Carolyn, why it's so important that Gallaudet recognizes its past and make things and, and makes things right with the black deaf community. Yeah, I think it was really important for Gallaudet University to recognize their wrongs um, because we all know that wrong things have happened and they need to be addressed and the historical injustices that have taken place, the harm that has been done to those 24 black deaf children from 1952 
um, it needed to be addressed as well. They never received their high school diploma. And that unfortunately uh, had an impact on them so much so that they carried that burden with them for such a long time. And this past weekend on Saturday, it was time. It was time for Gallaudet to fix their wrongs and to issue a formal apology. So I'm incredibly touched that President Cordano of Gallaudet University made that commitment to right Gallaudet's uh, injustices and actually take a step forward in the right direction by conferring those high school diplomas because every one of those students deserved it. And each of them deserved that memory. Uh, there were high school diplomas um, and those diplomas that were issued really allow them to have something to carry. They can put that in their will. They can show it to their friends and family. It serves as a memento as to remember their experiences in a very positive way. And we're just looking at that video of Kenneth Miller. Um, it, it just sent chills up my spine thinking about Louise B. Miller, his mom. I mean, if she were still alive to see this and just the fruits of her labor, how does this moment keep her legacy alive, Carolyn? And, and of course, the healing, too, for past injustice. Mm-hmm. You know, when I saw Kenneth Miller and you know, he was walking with, with his walker and he said, finally, we did it. And to see that spirit, I only wish that Louise B. Miller was alive. Um, but with that being said, I can feel that her spirit and energy was in the room. Um, it was filling the auditorium. And Louise B. Miller's legacy certainly carries on. We are determined to make sure that that happens, as well as increasing awareness of the Black Deaf experience. And furthermore, we're fighting to make sure that people remember this. And it's critical to recognize the freedom and we need to heal from this incident. Uh, we haven't been able to properly heal because of the pain that was caused that had never been addressed. And with that graduation ceremony that just took place, I feel like we can positively remember what has taken place and also acknowledge that we are on the right path towards healing and justice. So with that being said, I believe that the legacy of Louise B. Miller will certainly continue to go on. And we also have the Louise B. Miller Pathways in Gardens Memorial um, on Gallaudet University campus. And we're working diligently to raise $23 million to go towards that project. And the area of that memorial will actually be in front of the Kellogg Conference Center Hotel on campus. So quite a beautiful area for that um, Pathways and Gardens Memorial honoring the experience of those 24 Black Dove students from Kindle Division II and really serving as a coming home. And when they come home, they'll have a place to reflect and to think back about their memories in a positive way. One more question, Carolyn, while I have you, and a bit of a broader question. I just think back um, since the death of George Floyd and how that sparked such a racial reckoning in this country. And it, it led me to you, and it, and it allowed me to talk about something that's meant so much to my family, coming from a family of deaf educators. But we have talked about black ASL. We have talked about deaf actors winning Oscars. Um, we are now talking about deaf black students finally getting their diplomas. We have talked about your black deaf studies program at Gallaudet that's, that's been uh, revolutionary. This is such an exciting time for deaf culture, for black deaf culture, and the power of ASL. There is something special going on for the deaf community in our time right now. I agree. You're right about that. It's, it's definitely true. There's so much change that has taken place um, since our conversations, and I'm delighted to see this happen particularly with the Center for Black Deaf Studies and how we're able to truly uh, put a spotlight on the Black Deaf experience and showcase how rich it is, show uh, the larger community about our culture. And that will allow people to learn not only more about us, but also to learn about the fact that there's Black ASL 
many people are unaware that Black AIDS still exists. And for our listeners who may not be familiar, you know, Black ASL is essentially a way that you're able to communicate, you know, with Ebonics, if you will, um, in American Sign Language. So um, it's a wonderful moment. Um, and thank you so much to Gallaudet University for supporting the Center for Black Deaf Studies. Um, and I'll also that add that I'm the chair of the Louise B. Miller um, or excuse me, co-chair of the Louise B. Miller Steering Committee. And I serve alongside uh, our CDO, Elizabeth Moore. And I'm incredibly grateful to our team. I'm incredibly grateful to Gallaudet University once again for actually listening to us, listening to what we've had to share. And I would also like to extend my gratitude to the Gallaudet University Board of Trustees for their support. It really is the result of um, the support from the administration that has <laughs> led to a formal apology, which is just amazing. And to me, I really just see it as icing on the cake. Yes, indeed. Amen to that. And I want to yeah, thank you. So um, to describe the level of excitement that I'm feeling. So <laughs> thank you again so much for, for finally letting this happen. And I can also just add that uh, some of the students have called us back to say, look at what I posted. I have my high school diploma that I posted online. And this is Incredible. something that has actually happened for them. So again, just a dream come true. It is, it is. And it's such an honor to talk to you and to lift up Gallaudet once again. And thanks, Yvonne, for your beautiful voice, your interpreting, and also Jolinda, I'm grateful to you both. Carolyn, it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.